One of the um, offerings that we've been doing this week for PD is how to record in PowerPoint or record a lesson in Zoom. When you record a lesson um, in Zoom, for instance, you get an MP4 file. So you can embed that video into your course content. So if you as a teacher record your screen, just like I'm doing now using Zoom, and when you end your meeting, you're gonna get an MP4 um, file in your documents area. So now if I wanted that in my course, I'm going to open up my course and show you how you can get that in there. So I'm going to make a new assignment. And actually, I can do this a couple of different ways. If I want it to be assignment, I could do it in there. I'm actually going to do it for add a page. So it depends on how you want your students to see this. I might say, you know, lesson one. Here again, you have all of your tools available to you, and then your insert content feature. Here's where you can insert your image or media. I'm gonna attach a file because I recorded this myself. So if I click attach a file, I'm gonna go to my documents. Zoom creates a folder in your documents when you start recording using the um, program. Open that up. Here's my last recording that I did. Okay, I did one, um, that previous file was actually my um, session that I'm in right now videoing for you guys. So that's why there was nothing in there. So I went to my previous folder or my previous Zoom session and I had just recorded how to um, create a message in Schoology. So you can see that video here. So if this was the video I wanted students to see, I'm gonna click on that and click open. Now it's gonna look a little bit funny, but I promise you it's there. You can also type any messages to your students above and you have all of your options down here for attach a file, attach a link, resources, any other audio or video recordings that you want or an external tool. Down here at the bottom, if this video was for in, uh, individual students, you could simply individually assign by clicking on this and then typing in their name. So if this only needed to go to one student or two students in particular or a grading group, um, for instance, I'm thinking if you um, put your students into grading groups, you, your students that need maybe some modifications um, and you have some different levels of grading groups, you could do that here as well. I'll show you that in another video. Down here, if I wanted this to display in line, that means it's going to show up for the students. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm gonna, going to press create. So instead of that video being um, hidden on a new page, it is out for students to see. That is what um, the inline uh, little symbol means, that they don't have to click on this to go to a new page to actually open it up and see it. So right now I'm gonna click download and then students can open up that video and they can begin to watch the video that I have sent for them and put in as a feature. I'm back in my edit page and I've removed that MP4 file attachment. Um, if I wanted to insert a YouTube video, I could do the same thing. I come in, I edit my page or um, add a page, put my page title in, and I'm going to go to insert content. Here, I'm gonna to continue to click image media, but now I'm gonna pick from the web. And I want this to be media because it is a video. And I've gone and selected a YouTube, um, a YouTube link, and I'm gonna put that right in there, and I'm gonna insert the media. Then when I'm all done and ready for my kids to um, have that video, save changes, 
And with this particular video, um, because it was a YouTube link, it didn't have to be converted. So we see it right away. Again, it is in line and I had selected that option. I will show you if I go back to edit, here's my same video that I had put in there. But now down at the bottom, if I take that display in line off and save, that video goes away. So students would only be able to see that video um, and they click on here and they open that page up and there's their video. So a couple of different options on the look and feel of your course are available to you. So turn that back on, save those changes and it's back. Okay. Now you have that option in many of your other um, your other materials here as well. If you wanted to add an assignment with a video, you have that option. Wherever you sort of uh, have that insert content, you can put those image um, files, those uh, files, those MP4 files or move files or from the web, and you can attach an image or a media file. So look for this symbol and insert content, and you'll be able to put those types of things in your different areas of Schoology.